Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Eileen with Unique Gifts and Decor by Lady Die. Happy Monday to everyone. I'm hoping you all enjoyed your day today. I know here in North Carolina, it was hot. It is still hot, okay? We, they were supposed to be expecting about, I think it's 40% rain. <sighs> no rain. <laughs> and you know what, it rained yesterday, but it made it hotter, okay? So, I don't know what to tell you, you guys. <laughs> it's summertime. This is the time of the year that all this happens. But again, if you get a chance to stay inside, stay inside. If you have to go outside, make sure you're very hydrated. Um, and make sure that if you are in that path of that hurricane, I think it's Burl or whatever, begin with a B that's coming your way. Definitely please be safe. Um, be wise, okay? Um, if they say evacuate, um, you know, you, you only have one life, you guys. So just make sure you be wise, full in your decisions, okay? So I'm coming on today, you guys. I'm going to show you guys some concepts using those um, wire. Um, I'll take this apart right quick because I kind of put this together. But I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. These are these um, trays that we got from the a uh, dollar tree last year that I got. I got a, I got pretty say two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay, that in my stockpile they're just sitting there. So I am trying to use all the items in my stockpile going forward so that I can um, make room for new stockpile when that comes available that I need. Okay, not because they're on sale and that I want them. It's things that I need. That's how you do strategically shopping for your gift basket business, okay? So I'm gonna put this together using these items right quick. So just bear with me a little bit, you guys. Um, this is some of the, I put it together and I touch my phone and it the video stops, so I gotta start over. So bear with me, okay? That's never happened before. You <laughs> Anyway, so. It must not be meant for me to get my information out to you all today, but you know what? The devil's a lie because I am I am doing God's work and we're gonna make sure these inexpensive mug concepts come together. And also just wanna let you guys know in my video yesterday, I did tell you guys that um, you matter. Um, I was listening to uh, Bishop Dale Bronner yesterday morning and he was talking about um, uh, we matter, we matter to God. But I also want to um, add something in there. Uh, we should matter to ourselves, okay? Um, some, a lot of times we get so boggled down and so concerned about other people, what they think, what they may say or not say or whatever. But, you know, that's only their opinion. We don't have to um, live our life by somebody else's opinion. Now, it depends on their opinion. If it's a positive opinion, you, you take the compliment, okay? Because, you know, some people live off of compliments, and that's a good thing. It kind of makes you feel good if you get a compliment. But sometimes you can get a compliment that's a negative one. And the reason why you might get a negative one, you have to consider the source. Okay, I told I tell my neighbor the other day we were talking about something, and she was she had lost a lot of weight. And the per, our other neighbor, she had said something to her, and the way she said it was in a negative way. But I, like I told her, you have to consider the source. If somebody is jealous of you or somebody is in, insecure with themselves, they're going to give you a compliment. And it's a not sincere compliment. You just take it as a grain of salt. It goes in one ear and out the other. Do not let it stay in your head, okay? Because going back to consider the source, okay? Some people are just ugly and some people are just mean, if you know what how they are, you accept them to how they are, you love that person, but you ain't got to be in their face 24 hours and they ain't got to be in your face, they ain't got, and trust me, they won't be knocking on my door because when I know how you are, I got you, okay? I, I am, I'm done. I can speak to you, hello, how you doing? And the conversation, that might be all the conversation that you get. It might not be nothing more. And if it depends on how I feel, it might be, well, you know, I, you don't want to ask too much information from those kind of people because you don't know if they lying to you or they telling the truth. And then they lie so much, they might be sincere. And that's to the point you'd be like, well, you don't lie to me so much. How do I know what you're saying is, is for real or sincere? 
So that's getting back to protecting your peace, regardless if it's your family member, your children, your spouse, whomever, you got to protect your peace because you should matter to yourself, okay? Mattering to others is fine, having friendships, relationships, whatever, and co-workers, whatever. But at the end of the day, you've got to make sure your self-esteem is up, that you are taking care of yourself, and everything else should fall in place, you guys. So when he said that yesterday, that we matter to God, God matters to us, but we also should be able to matter to ourselves, okay? I'm so getting back to this concept right quick. This is, uh, I've used this world market shred that I picked up the other day. These mugs we got from the Dollar Tree. Now on the on the bottom of this uh, has the tag, but it says microwave safe and dishwasher safe. I'm leaving that on there because I want the customer to know that it is okay to stick this in the dishwasher or you can stick it into your um, microwave. Got this suave uh, cocoa butter and shea body, body wash. I got those from um, Ollie's last year. And we're going to lay that right here. And again, you guys, a lot of these products I got last year. And I'm just finding the, I'm going to say finding them. But when I did clean up, I did find them. <laughs> I forgot I had them. But I am using them so that I can get them out of the way because I know that I will probably be looking for new products that are coming available um, for that I can use in my basket business. Now, I teach you all how I shop strategically. Every sale is not for everybody. I just want to let you all know that. Don't get out there and see a lot of people got a lot of stockpiles and everything, and you're kind of getting mad and envious. Well, I messed up. I did that. I started shopping stuff because I saw stuff on sale, and as you all can see, some of this stuff has been in my pot stockpile for a year. And I have been, I've been wrong. And I don't say wrong, but I have not been good about uh, using my old stockpile. Because when I get new stuff in, I'm just so excited about getting the new stuff. And I just start designing with the new stuff, knowing good and well that old stuff is still there. It's not old, old, but it's new stuff. Don't get me wrong, what I'm saying is old. It's just been there. Some of these items in my stockpile has been in there for a year, and I have not used them. So I am guilty about buying things that I have not used, and I am doing better, okay? So when I tell you guys all the time, when you know better, you do better. Coco Shea uh, Suave Soap I got from Roses last year as well. So we're going to add this to the... Um, tray right here as well i've got these pumpkins these pumpkins came on some long sticks i got these from the dollar tree last year um so i'm just going to add these pumpkins right here to this concept now if they do not sell during these fall festivals um what i can do is if i decide to take the pumpkins out um i can um one of my fall festivals is in october and then there's uh, no uh, another one is in November. So it can roll low because November is still the fall. So it might sell there. If I mean, it's still a nice gift either way. So, you know, I if I feel like taking it out, I will. But if I don't, it's okay because I'm going to roll it over to the next selling um, event. My roses I got from Timu, you guys. So I'm going to stick this right here in the middle here. Easy concept to put together, okay? very very easy okay so i am going to shrink wrap these now these bags i got from um amazon what did i and here is um i fell on the floor yeah sorry about that this is what it comes it's the sparta industrial 12 by 18 pvc shrink bags they come in quantities of 100 okay this is the first time I've ordered these small of a size shrink wrap bags. So um, I've been using them because I use them on those ceramic wax melts and they are nice quality. So I can't complain because I have, I mean, they are working great for me. And the reason why I said that if it doesn't sell, I might can take the pumpkins out and use um, for another holiday if I wanted to revamp it because I've got a hundred bags. And so if I can mess up two or three um, to redo, 
is not going to kill me. But I am particular about my bags. You know, don't think I'm frivolous. Like, you know, oh, it's just a bag. <coughs> Excuse me, no. These, some of my bags, they, I don't say they cost a lot, but you know what I'm saying? Um, it's just, you just try to be a good steward on everything that you got, okay? So I'm going to put these in here right quick here. And I'm going to definitely um, tie down the sides so it won't stick up. I, I'm going to say tie down, but I'm going to tape it down. I don't know what I got to tie down. What am I tying today, y'all? Uh, where is my mind? So this is how I'm doing it so far here. I've got one of those, um, my zip ties here, and I'm going to tie the top here with the zip tie. It's one of these long zip ties, and we're just going to cut the top off right quick. And this is what we got so far here. So I've got my heat gun. I'm using this today, so we're just going to shrink wrap this right quick. Without me burning my bag. guys so this is how it looks so far now this is the uh, ribbon that I, I'm gonna make a bow out with the um, ribbon I got from Sam's here um, it is a 50 yards and it's a two and a half inch ribbon okay so I've already completed one so y'all this is the final product here okay very easy concept to put together Okay, so I'm going to show you guys some of the others that I've already done just to give you all some idea of items that I've used. This is one of the purple mugs that we got from the Dollar General. The body products are from uh, the Dollar Tree. Now, you can get nice Dollar Tree items, and one of the concepts that I've put together are all Dollar Tree, and I'll show you guys in a minute. But this looks high class. Certain items that you can get from the Dollar Tree are nice high quality items as long as it looks high quality you can get by with just using the dollar tree items but i've got a dollar general cup in here to kind of elevate it a little bit okay easy concept to put together okay here's another one that i use with the purple um mug the yardley products are from the dollar tree as well the mug is from the Dollar General. I just put some of the pumpkins from the uh, Harvest Sale from the Dollar General with my Timu Rose on there. And here's one, as I was telling you guys, all of the Dollar Tree items. This does not look like a Dollar Tree um, item gift, but these um, bath salts, I've got the foot spa and I've got the body butter. All, and the glove, all those came from the Dollar Tree during Mother's Day. I ended up getting this turquoise mug. I think that was, um, I love color. So that's color pops with this one. And I adorned it with the uh, navy, well, I want to say royal blue, excuse me, rose. And here's another one you guys I put together here. I've got the sweater, 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 ah, sweater weather mug dollar general i've got the honey and sunflower the uh body 
lotion. I've got the body salts and the body uh, bath bubble. And I just topped it off with some of those pumpkins and with some of those uh, roses that I get from Timu, okay? Here's another one that I put together. The Cuddle Season Mug from Dollar General. I've got this bath, uh, it's called the Bolivia Body Scrub, the Foot Scrub, and the Body Wash from the Dollar Tree. Easy concept, you guys. And here's another one. Freeman has this body mask, it's the clay mask. Um, and it's also the peel off mask. Um, and my girlfriend, one of my subscribers, she had um, turned me on to the Freeman. She said she goes to Macy's and they have these about $10 a two or more. And she's up north, so it might be a little bit more fair. Down here, $1.25. High quality item, okay? But $1.25, you can't beat that, okay? The mug I got from the Harvest um, Collect Us. Uh, Ugh. clearance sale at the Dollar General. Just topped it off with the pumpkins and the rose. Easy concept. Another one here. Uh, this latte mug uh, is with a moo here. Dollar General clearance sale. Uh, I got bath and body wash. Bath and body wash body lotion. I got some uh, body cream, excuse me. I got some body gel, I mean body wash here. I topped it off with some pumpkins here. Very easy, nice concept to put together. Here's another one I did with the turquoise um, mugs. Y'all went mom and blank. Turquoise mug. Now this has the hydrating hand and nail glove, so I didn't have to add the other glove like I did with the other one. The body butter and the foot scrub here. Topped it off with the uh, bow. I mean the uh, rose. And last but not least, you guys, another latte one here. Lotion, body wash, the latte mug, and topped it off with the. Um, roses and the pumpkins so you can't go wrong with these gifts you guys um very inexpensive gifts to put together um these could be um co-workers gifts for the holidays um it could be um just a nice gift to give to a friend or somebody it's very inexpensive but again it looks high-end okay so you guys thank you for watching this video please like share comment let me know did you all get any of these trays if you did um, and that has the, the Dollar General thing tray, but I'm not going to take that off. It's just, it is what it is. It's just not the price tray, uh, not, not the price tag, okay? So let me know if you all got any of these items. And you can hold it this way, this way, this way. But I thought I'd kind of do something different here with these. Um, easy to shrink wrap. Um, didn't cost much to put these together t in time-wise. But you guys, um, let me know what you think about these gifts. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, comment. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I am doing Christmas in July series and I've got a lot of ideas coming you guys way. So take care to the next video. It's mug day today. I've got some more mug ideas coming your way. Have a good day. Bye-bye.